Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot common speech issues you might have on your Windows device. So commonly if you're not having an issue physically with your microphone and you're pretty confident that it's not your video recording software, this tutorial will hopefully resolve some common issues you might have that are Windows related. So we're going to just start by heading over to the Start menu and we're going to type in troubleshooting should be listed directly above control panel so just left click on that now that we're on the troubleshooting window left click on the view all button on the left side here now you want to scroll down until you get to speech and just double click on that so it'll say get your microphone ready and fix problems that may prevent windows from hearing you so I don't think you actually need to have a microphone plugged into your computer at the time of the running this utility. However, I would suggest if you want to get the best results that you do have a microphone set up. So we're just going to left click on next here. And it will begin detecting any issues that might be set up. So like I said before, before using we recommend to set up your microphone so we can hear you clearly. Would you like to set up the mic? I'm going to left click on set up the mic. And then I'm going to select next here. Peter talks to his computer. He prefers it to typing. And, and we can see the microphone is now set up. So that was actually pretty quick. And the microphone needs to be set up. If there are any other issues, it might run another scan. Um, I would definitely see if there are other problems that could be associated with it. It appears in my case, all we needed to do was just set up the microphone, but there could be other related issues as well. You could always view additional detailed information by clicking on this hyperlink down in the bottom of this dialog window. And it'll give you more information as to what kind of issues were found, um, potential issues that were checked, detected, detection details and so forth. So pretty straightforward. It's not going to be guaranteed to work for everybody of course, but I do hope it does help out a few of you guys. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.